Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Ellsworth and what I'm going to be discussing in this video is uh, the second problem on homework 5-6 concave mirror problems. And so um, just a reminder to have this sheet handy. The last video that I did, I forgot to mention something. Okay, so when you go and figure out your magnification using this formula right here, m equals negative di over do, um, you'll get a value that's either negative or positive, and we get a positive 2, saying that the magnification made the image twice as large as what it was. So that's pretty interesting. Now, that means it's going to be upright, and it was in that problem. In fact, let's look right here. Let me go back one. And it was upright. That means it's a virtual image, and... Um, and so you would report it as being a virtual image that is upright. Now when they're upside down or inverted, then they are actually real images. And those are a form where the light um, actually intersects. And those ones are, these ones are put onto screens. These ones are where you appear to be behind the mirror. So when you're looking into the bottom of your spoon, you can get real close and you can see your image. And it would be you're looking behind the mirror to see your image there. So um, they both form where the rays are going to in intersect, but this here is an actual intersection of them, and this is where they appear to be. So um, how you can always figure out whether it's a real or a virtual one is by finding that magnification or looking to see if your, your image is upright or if it's inverted, and that'll help you um, diagnose whether it is real or virtual. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and look at the next problem on that sheet, which is right here. And so let me read it for you. Okay, on a shaving mirror, it has a focal length of 33, millim 33 centimeters. So here it is, 33 centimeters. It says calculate the image of the cologne bottle placed at 93. So here's 93. And I did some estimation, a third, a third, a third. And so I did some estimation that way. I mean, that would really be 99, but I mean, this is just a um, estimate, okay? So calculate the image of the clone bottle placed at 93 centimeters from the front of the mirror and find the DI. We want to find the distance of the image and find M, okay? And then tell whether it is real or virtual or inverted or upright, and then draw a ray diagram to confirm these results. So um, let's go ahead and do the first part, the math part that it talks about. Okay, so again, to find the distance of the image, we have to use this formula up here. Okay, and we have to go and subtract the distance of the object from this side to get that distance of the image. And again, these are all reciprocals, so they can sometimes be um, a little bit challenging to, to, to solve. So uh, the di 1 over di equals uh, 1 over the focal length minus 1 over the distance of the object. Okay, so let's go and find that information on here. So when we read that, we get 33 centimeters for the focal length, 1 over 33, okay, and then minus 1 over the distance of the object, which is placed at 93 centimeters. And again, this is all the positive side of the mirror. This is the negative side of the mirror. So uh, this is 1 over 93. So what I want you to do is I want you to go find this in your calculator. Go and subtract these two fractions. I go and I punch it in there with a divide division one for each one of these, and then I get myself a decimal value. So go ahead and do that. I'll pause and you pause too and figure that out and let's make sure you're doing these calculations correct with your calculator. So take it out, actually take it out, and let's check it out. Okay, so when I punch that in my calculator, I got this value right here. And just a reminder that that equals one over di one over the distance of the image. And so we need to actually go and press that x to the negative one button to find the value for this. And when we do that, we get 51.15. In the problem, we've actually got uh, three sig figs, so it's gonna be 51.2 for the distance of our image. Okay. Okay, now let's go and find that magnification. Let me take a moment here and I will uh, erase several things here. Okay, and here's a reminder um, that when you find the magnification that you're using this formula here, 
And so that one, we're going to take the distance of the image. We don't have the height of the image and the height of the object that's placed in front of there, but we do have the distance of the image. We just calculated that, and it was a positive value. And we do have the distance of the object. That is placed over here, so it is on the positive side of the mirror. So we can figure this out. So let's check this out. So M equals... m equals a negative di, distance of the image over distance of the object. Okay, and so that's going to be a negative, it's going to be a negative, um, the di, the distance of the image was the 51.2. If you've got that full 51.15, whatever, all that that number was, it's still in your calculator, that's great. But I'm going to just write this down, 51.2 centimeters. Okay, and then it's over the distance of the object. which is 93. Okay, and so those will cancel out. So let's go ahead and check this out here. So go ahead and take a moment and figure that out. Pause, and I'll pause too. Oh. So did you get a negative 0.55? Okay, and that's pretty cool. Um, that's telling you that the image is going to be half the size of what the original one was. So that's pretty cool. So magnification equals a negative 0.55. There is no unit on here again because centimeters cancel out. Now this is also telling you with this negative right here that you are going to have an inverted picture or an upside down picture. Okay, and it also tells you that it will be a real image too because inverted, inverted is always real. Okay, it's a negative M value that we got there. So let me get back to our drawing. Okay, so let me, um, and real. Okay, and this said also in the instructions to go and draw a ray diagram, so we'll do that now. Okay, and I'll get rid of these two boxes here. Oops. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw this. So we have our object placed out here. Okay, so you know how um, when you look in a mirror, you're a big object compared to the mirror, so I'll draw my object kind of big. Okay, and let me draw it here. <laughs> I'm not very good at drawing straight up and down, evidently. Anyway, so here's my object. Okay, so right here is the tip of it that I have to put inside of the mirror. And we always, again, just draw those as lines, and that's fine. Um, you could draw it as an eyeball right here if you want to, or whatever that you want. Okay, so moving on. So our very first one, do you remember what our rules are? The very first line goes to the straight parallel to the mirror and bounces back through F. Okay, so let me get a line here. Okay, then we'll go with blue. Okay, so it goes parallel from the object, strikes the mirror, and bounces back through F. Okay, the next line is number two, and it goes from the tip of the object through F and bounces back parallel to the normal there. Okay, I'm seeing two lines intersect right here. They're converging. Okay, let's double check here. We got one last line, and I will draw the third line in green, and it says to go from the tip of the object through the center of the mirror and wow that looks great so they're converging right here so this right here is our image and it will be upside down which we already knew um and so it'd be in here upside down and think about that when you're looking into the bottom of a spoon okay the the inside of the spoon think about that because it is um definitely your image is upside down when you're far away from it okay and then, um, anyway, so it's real and inverted. That's true. It's half the size. Well, maybe it's half the size. That, that might be pretty good there. Yeah. So it's half the size and it's upside down because it's negative. And so that's a pretty good deal. Oh, my goodness. Excuse me. Okay. Anyways, I will see you in class tomorrow.